Hey guys, welcome back to the Panda Power video tutorials. This week I received a question from a friend from Nepal and he asked Florian, how can I read data from an Excel sheet? Imagine that you have your data, which looks like this. So you have an Excel sheet with your bus table, with your load data, with your slack data, your line data, not given with a standard type, but here you have the data uh, given in parameters and your transformer data, for example, where you have a standard type. So how can you read that into a Panda Power Grid? This is quite simple. We just use the Panda Power API and create each table step by step. And this is what we're going to do right now. So let's get started. What we want to have is the grid as specified here on the right side in our Excel data sheet. For this, we first need the pandas function to read in Excel data. And also we need Panda Power to create our empty grid first. So first we create an empty network and then we want to read in the Excel data, which is in my case called grid data Excel file um, sheet by sheet. So we specify a sheet name. In that case, it would be bus. The first sheet would be bus and we should specify an index column, which is in that case zero. So we can print it, for example, and then we see that we have now the data frame read as uh, the Excel file read in as a data frame. If we don't specify here the index column, we will get this. We will have an unnamed column, which is exactly the, the index. And this is what we don't want, but we want to have it as an index column. So we better specify this. And now it's quite easy. We just iterate over, uh, iterate over the data frame by saying iterate over the index in the data frame. And then we use the Panda Power create functions, in that case, create bus. And if we just have a look at what's inside the data frame again, or it's, it's still on the bottom here, uh, we see that we have the column which we need, which is VNKV. And then we just say at the index, at the current index here, which we iterate over, we create uh, a new bus. And if we print now the grid afterwards, we're going to see that we have now a bus with four elements as seen on the right. And if we print net.bus, you're going to see that we have the correct voltage inside the data frame and also additional columns, which are the default values given by the create function. This is also the reason why we use a loop instead of reading directly the data into a data frame because the create function is always up to date with the current Panda Power version. And you can be sure that the create function takes care of having the right columns in the Panda Power data frame afterwards. Okay, so this was for the buses. We can do the same for the loads. We just specify here that we want to have another sheet. And here we need another function, which is called create load. And then we say the bus, which is inside data frame, is at the column bus. And for the um, p value, pmw, as you notice here in yellow, it's not called pmw, but p. You can, uh, for example, print here df.columns, and then you know which columns are inside the current data frame. So here you have bus and p. And this is what we want to have for our loads in our case. So we can print that as well. And then you're going to see that we have now uh, a load table with the specified PMW value from the Excel sheet. Okay, um, so this is if you have a different column name. If you have a different sheet name, of course, you have to specify the name here, for example, if we want to have in the, the select buses, we create them with an external grid. A select is an external grid in Panda Power typically, uh, typically. And here we have, as always, the data in the correct format. So we read that in, as I've just shown. And then we have the external grid. So like this. Okay, um, when it comes to the line data, you see that it's uh, the line data is not in, it's not just the standard type as seen for the transformer, but the line data is given with the impedance values and so on. So if you read that, 
and we print it, then we, that, then we can see that we have the data given with uh, C and, and G and so on. So we have the impedance values given. And for this, we also iterate over the data frame, but we use instead of create line, we use create line from parameters because we have all the parameters given in the data frame. And now here comes a super nice trick. Instead of typing that now, which takes a lot of time, we can use a simple trick, which is we specify because we know now that we have all the data inside a data frame here. Uh, the, the correct columns we have inside the data frame, which we need, which I prepared intentionally. Then we can use this, this operator here, this star operator, which unpacks the columns inside the data frame and, and gives it as an argument to this function. So this is the super nice trick I want to show you. And if we want to print that now, we're going to see that we have the line data frame cor correctly read in with all the data which we have in our Excel sheet. So this gives you just one line instead of such a long line here for the external grid. Super nice, isn't it? So the last thing we're missing now is the transformer data, which we could try to read in as before. Notice that we need here, because we have the standard type given, we need the, the function create transformer instead of create transformer from parameters. So we don't, don't use that. We use create transformer for this grid. And here we could try to read it uh, as before. So we specify lock at this index and say every column. Uh, but this will give us an error because the column names are not in the right order. So either we change the order of the um, data frame or we, we do it as before, which is, I think is, is a little bit easier in that case. Now we just specify here uh, which, which data we want to read in. So here index low voltage bus and then we're just missing the standard type which is given as a string here standard type and if i did not mistake we should read in uh, we should have all the data now to just run a load flow and then for example print the result of the load flow so here just wait and now we have the result of our power flow calculation Thank you guys for watching. I hope that helped you to understand how to read in data from an Excel sheet. If you have any more questions, feel free to write me.